News alert tonight out of western Arizona. We've confirmed a train derailment along I-14 near Topak. The Mojave County Sheriff's Office is telling Fox 10 the train was reportedly carrying hazardous materials. Other news are following a freight train derailment in Washington State, and officials say this one was also carrying a harmful substance. Tonight, a response team is busy cleaning up. Natalie is back with the latest. About 5,000 gallons of diesel fuel spilled near Puget Sound in this latest derailment. The toxic spill affecting those on the Swinomish Indian Tribal Reservation and Casino in Washington State. It comes on the heels of another train operated by the same carrier here, BNSF, that derailed last night near the Arizona-California border. As crews scramble to clean up this <clears throat> creek in East Palestine, Ohio, tonight the NTSB says it's concerned. Aluminum protective covers on the rail cars melted, possibly contributing to the train derailment. In Minnesota, some communities have been caught by surprise by a massive radioactive leak from a nuclear plant that they are just now hearing about, even though it was first detected months ago. We are talking 400,000 gallons of contaminated water, and it happened at this plant because of a broken pipe. Now, that leak was found in November of last year, but the public is only finding out about it now. The nuclear plant is owned by the company called Excel Energy, and both the company and the state are working to try to clean up the contamination water. Now, the water is said to contain radioactive tritium, which is a form of hydrogen and can occur in water naturally at extremely small amounts. But per EPA regulations, 20,000 units of tritium can be in drinking water per liter. But the water right now at the plant uh, is in the millions. And here's a look at the location of this plant. It's very important. It is in uh, Monticello, Minnesota, right there along the Mississippi River. Excel and the state say they are actively working to contain this leak to that plant property. Right along that Mississippi, boy, you know. While state officials say the leak did not contaminate the Mississippi River or drinking water sources and people are safe. Uh, but we want to bring in NBC News correspondent Maggie Vespa to break it all down for us. Maggie. We've learned, if there's one thing that we've all learned recently is that, mm, don't trust them. Don't trust them. But, you know, I showed all those because of one interesting reason, you know, <clears throat> as I was trying to um, find some different things to talk about, I came across this story here that we're about to dive into, and it got me thinking. What in the world is going on? And that's not all of them. That's not all the situations. Okay? <laughs> that's definitely not all of the situations here you know, that, that you just saw there. That was a few. All right? Um, I want to say there's at least one other one that I can think of off the top of my head. And I'm sure there's stuff that I'm missing, which is why I say that's not all of them. Uh, so... Yeah, but let's dive into this story and I've got some more to say and I want to hear your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section because um, things are getting quite interesting under this administration if I do say so myself. Like, share, comment, hit that subscribe button if you're new and let's dive in. Texas. Hmm? What's your the reaction? of this happening is horrifying. I actually got a letter from the TCEQ that my neighbor was applying to discharge wastewater and uh, learned that neighbor was Elon and I had some concerns based on the behavior I've seen uh, as his neighbor over the last two years. This stuff, and we don't even know what it is, going into the river that we depend on for food production. My thoughts when I learned of how much, how much they were going to be dumping into the local water supply was, honestly, I was not surprised. It's one of those things where if you pay attention and you watch what corporations do and how they behave, it doesn't surprise me. It does, however, anger me, especially because this company 
And the owner of this company want to put themselves on a pedestal of we are doing things better. We're looking towards the future. This is not looking towards the future. This is not looking towards the future of the children, the animals, anything to do with the ecosystem. To hear the volume that it will be, it's like you can't believe it and yes, you can't not believe it because you know what is the world? What is important? Is the money important? Is the business important? Is the technology important? Or are the people important? What they're doing on their property concerns me a lot because my family pulls from a well and we share groundwater there and we share the air and um, unfortunately they are not careful in how they treat those shared resources. Well, I'll worry more, more about everybody else in the Bass Drop County than I do myself. I'm in a, I am in a pretty protective area. I still live on the old home place that's been in the family for all that period of time. But the river is not far from me and I just worry about everybody that's going to be connected with the river. I'm part of a community that does um, children like nature hikes and we do um, a lot of river activities. Um, these are kids anywhere from like, you know, 18 down to baby and um, them being in that water multiple times a week for about seven months a year because Texas weather, you know, facilitates that. Um, it's alarming. It's something that like we have to make a choice to go in that water or not if they start dumping because we know there could be an, an inherent risk to yeah. exposing them to whatever is in the wastewater. Absolutely. And so they're taking something like away from just us living here and the pleasure of raising children here and being able to enjoy that river the way we do now. Because we love the Colorado River. We love living here. And he will absolutely destroy our love because it will turn to fear. Texas water is sacred. And I think we need to be really careful about any adding any kind of new discharge to the river. Um, this is a very, this area has incredible high growth that Elon kicked off. And so we are seeing more and more permits to do this work. So Elon, if you see this, I want you to know that you need to get your mess together because this is a hot mess and everything you ever talk about and you ever say is that you're this genius. And if you're so smart, then you need to recognize what you are doing to a community and its water source. We wish that all these industries would be good neighbors. You know, my job is to grow food and flowers for people who live near me. I want to be a good neighbor. I want to be respected. You have endless amounts of money. You could be pushing us into the future with innovative ways to treat the wastewater. Not what you're doing. What you're doing now is an old practice that should be put to rest. We shouldn't be dumping into the river period. There is so many, there's so much possible good that could come out of someone with that kind of money to impact the way that wastewater is processed. And he is wasting an opportunity to use his resources to better this planet so i showed you guys all of that for a very interesting reason i came across an instagram account that had said something interesting that i had seen like one other person say before but i kind of eh whatever you know you can't believe everything you see on the internet we all understand that and maybe maybe this person has their information incorrect i don't know i just thought it was interesting uh and i would share it with you guys now this could be some bad information okay i cannot confirm this okay but i just thought it was interesting when i was thinking about this entire situation now I, for for some odd reason I, I i couldn't pull it up on my computer the only way I could do it was on my phone. I don't know what's going on. Maybe they just didn't want me to show you the video, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay. I'm just going to have to hold up my phone and show you guys and just play it through my phone's uh, stereo. So it's not going to sound the greatest. I understand that. And I apologize about that. I literally could not pull up the video on my computer. I just couldn't do it. It, it wouldn't let me. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't know what's going on with that, but I got it on my phone. So I'm still going to show you, all right? I don't care what's going on. All right, so uh, here's the video. Now, let me... So according to the laws governing Agenda 2030 land development, any land deemed toxic, the government can seize it and kick everybody out and put people in 15-minute cities. This is all on the EPA...
Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So, according to the laws governing Agenda 2030 land development, any land deemed toxic, the government can seize it and kick everybody out and put people in 15-minute cities. This any land deemed toxic. Now, this is allegedly. Allegedly. I cannot confirm this, okay? So don't hit me with no misinformation. This this could be all bogus. This could be all BS. By the way, that was a, a truth bomb mom on Instagram, okay? Shout out to her. Um, once again, I cannot confirm this. This could all be bogus. This could be hogwash, okay? I just want to put that out there for anybody, you know, watching this video. Everybody watching this video, okay? Uh, but I just found that interesting. With all of this stuff going on, with all of the the, the, the derailments, with the with the toxic chemicals, uh, 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 the 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 the, uh, the um, um um what do you call it? Goodness gracious, I'm losing my train of um, what's the word? Um, the nuclear plant that was allegedly leaking chemicals um, for months before the public even knew. Uh, the boring company, Elon's company, talking about dumping stuff in. I don't know, guys. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? Now, listen, this could be a far-fetched conspiracy theory, okay? This this literally, I just pulled out of thin air. I really did. I really did. You know, the thought came to my mind, you know, what's going on with all of this? Hold on. Elon's talking about this. Hey, I remember old girl said this on Instagram. I wonder. You know? So, listen, I literally just pulled this all out of the thing. This could be nothing. This could could be a total coincidence, what's going on. What she said could be a complete lie. Elon dumping stuff could be completely innocent. That's possible. That is a possibility, okay? And uh, I, I just want to acknowledge that and, and, and say that. But, man, does it make you wonder? Hmm. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? Share this video with your friends and family and um, tell them to comment their opinions in the comment section as well. I'm interested to hear all of your thoughts and your opinions on this entire situation and all of this that's going on. Um, are we being pushed towards 15 minute cities because of toxic land around us? Or is this just a bunch of hogwash? If you don't know how to share the video, it's the arrow button down below. You can click it and it'll ask you, you know, if you want to send it via Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. You can literally just click it, click the uh, copy uh, feature and it'll save it and you can send it to anyone via text message. You can copy it into your, your DMs and send it off via Facebook Messenger, Instagram DM, Twitter DMs. You can post it on your Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, or whatever, your Instagram story. Um, I'm just interested to hear everyone's opinions on all of this going on. All right? Y'all stay safe out there. Peace and love. I'm out.